Well, hey y'all, it's Deanna. Today, let's see, today is Friday. Look at that lizard, you see him right there? Oh, he's kind of, he jumped to the grass. But anyway, it's Friday, September the 8th. I was gonna share with, share with you right quick what I did yesterday. And today, there he is on that board. My finger keeps blurring it, but he's on that, he's on that. Where's my finger? On that board right there. Anyway, yesterday, I had mentioned it some, uh, within the past couple of days on Nicole Smith's garden, gardening, her channel, that my squash, I was having trouble with some of my seeds not germinating or they'd come up and then they'd just die. And uh, because I have these cans around them, which I think you can see down there. I can't see my, there we go. Um, the cans around them that they may be getting too hot. And she said um, maybe some shade would help. So I have this broken umbrella that I did not throw away because I was like, oh, don't throw that away because you're going to need it for something. And that's what it is. Anyway, I reap. Uh, there's two cans down there. I put some uh, more straight neck squash seeds in there and then covered it with a with that umbrella to shade them until they get up until they get big enough and um, can handle the heat better. I do keep them watered, but I guess it, she's probably right. It was probably just cooking the seeds. Anyway, I did that yesterday, and then we'll walk over. Let me see. There's uh, Lucy acting a silly girl. She's so silly. She's itchy. Anyway, we'll walk over here. And I didn't do a whole lot yesterday. I, don't, I didn't feel good. I still don't feel real hot. It was yesterday after it rained. But, um, uh, where was, what did I do yesterday? I did this today. I don't even remember, y'all. Isn't that sad? That's my brain. 51 years old and can't remember what I did yesterday. Huh. I, uh, did. I, I think I trimmed something, but I don't remember what it was. Anyway my um oh, let me move this so they can get some sun not much sun because it's shady now but uh these were my blue lake bush green bean seeds they didn't ever come up so i got some i think they were top crop that i had green beans and planted them and we'll see um the blue lake they rotted i dug down in there and they were rotten those are my yellow wax beans I cannot for the life of me remember what I did yesterday at all there's something else but I don't know what it was there's no telling I mean it was nice out yesterday evening so I know I came out here and did something I just don't remember what it was anyway today I trimmed back this basil. I think that's the blue, one of the blue spice basils. I did trim a little bit of that um, lemon balm there, but not a lot. I need to plant some more Asian cucumbers because they didn't come up either. Oh, that's what I did. That right there is a, I don't know how to say it, Nicota. Is that it? No, this is the bachelor button. One of those little plants that I have had in the greenhouse forever that needed to be re repotted ages ago. So, Nicole Smith is not the only bl bad plant mama. That plant's been in there since the spring. And it just got put out here yesterday. Anyway, my, um, 
My Asian cucumber, look at that one. It looks like it's something's wrong with it. And it's the only one that came up. So I need to put some more seeds there. And then, so that bachelor button was one thing I did yesterday. And then this right here is Nicotiana. I don't know how to say it. It's a flower. And it has been in the greenhouse since this spring. So they got stuck in the ground yesterday. Now for today, I'll show you what I found. I was beginning to think absolutely nothing is coming up in these pots except the tomatoes. But I think you can see that one little bitty one right there. And then there's another one popping up. And this is Coulantro. Yeah, Coulantro, which is supposed to be heat tolerant. And I believe it's also stronger than cilantro. But anyway, I trimmed a little bit of this sun gold tomato off. I don't know why I don't cut it down, but I don't want to cut it down. I don't know. Uh-oh. It's falling. Trimmed a little bit of that one off. That stick down there was Cosmos and I cut it down because it was dead. My uh, uh, tomatillos look terrible. I think they need some fertilizer. Okay, so that's, one, that's the basil I cut today and the lemon balm back there I cut today. Then there's another basil right here that I cut back. I cut some of the dead, not dead, but diseased looking um, leaves off of this pepper plant, which, oh look, where did he go? It's a leaf footed bug, man. I guess I'll be picking these here in a few minutes and putting them in the refrigerator till I have enough to dehydrate again. Cause he'll be, he'll be, uh, oh. That one just came right off, so I guess it was ready. But uh, he'll be destroying my my um, paprika peppers along with all the other peppers that I have. I have tried to kill him two or three times and I can't get him. But anyway, I cut some of the leaves, the diseased looking leaves off of that plant. Then this blue spice basil that's right here, I trimmed it a little bit. The, um, is that, no, that's lime basil. That's lime basil right there. I trimmed it a little. Trimmed that lemon balm a little bit. This Genovese basil a little bit. And then I um, pulled the grass out of this pepper pot. And this is a uh, Ahi Delight pepper. The dog likes to snack on that. Harley the Labrador. Here, we'll give him one. Harley, you want a pepper? Come here. Here he comes. He likes these peppers. You want the pepper? Oh, yummy. Say thank you. He does like them. If the shishitos were not hot, I would give him some. But some of those shishitos are fire. They are not all mild by any means. And then I did um, trimmed this basil, which I need to stake up. It's a blue spice basil too. And I pulled a few of those, where's it at? This weed right here. They pull pretty easy. I pulled a few of them. Because you can just pull them. You just yank on them and they come up. This is my wonky job of trying to stake this zinnia. Because the uh, butterflies like it. And the, they are always all over it. And then I did one other thing and then I got tired. I got hot. I got tired. I don't feel good. Though I was out here working, trying to sweat out whatever's wrong. 
gotta walk across the yard. And I get kind of short of breath, which could be asthma, could be my lack of physical health. Oh look, that was not there when I did this earlier. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Yeah, there he is. There is a web right there. Where'd it go? It's hard to see, but it's there. Where'd he... He's making himself a web. There he is. Anyway, that web wasn't here a little while ago. I cut a bunch of this. It's all over the ground because I have yet to pick it up. But that is a... Oh, what is that? Wisteria vine. <laughs> Had I known it was going to do this and be absolutely obnoxious, I would never have let my ex plant it. Never. There's a fence there as you can hardly see. It's creeping over into the neighbor's yard. It tries to hang on to the trees, which I cut it back. Get it off the trees, or that tree anyway. It's in this one. But this tree was not here when I moved in here in 2012. This is an oak. And it was not here. But that is... It has wrapped around it uh, and crawled along the ground. I cleaned up in front of the fence where it was crawling some and then I got too tired. But you can see it along the ground. It's obnoxious. I've even had to cut it back from my elderberry. One of the elderberries. We'll walk over here and look. But that's all I did today. I'm gonna come out here, sit in the shade and trim some more basil plants, but I'm also gonna get some more of these, make a little room in the freezer for some more. I've got several, I think I've got three gallon size bags of, it's not just berries in those bags, it's still the stem and the berries, but there's three bags in there. All right, y'all, that's it. This is gonna take a while for this to upload, of course, because me and no internet just uploading on my phone's data all right y'all like subscribe share have a good one take care now bye